Hey everyone, Dr. Frunky here with a really fun knife comparison video between two production Ray Laconico designs. This is the Mastrop Keen, and this is the Monterey Bay Knives Min Pin. Both of these designs are from custom knife maker Ray Laconico, who is known for his simpler EDC designs, but they have a very elegant look. As both, as you can see in both of these knives, they are very reserved, very user-oriented type of knives with uh, very Laconico-esque design elements. It's important to understand that both of these are Chinese produced. The Mastrop knife is made by the We Knives Company, and the uh, MBK over here is made by an as yet unnamed Chinese manufacturing company. It is not We Knives, it is not Riot, it is not Kaiser, it is one of the groups out there that does high-end OEM works that sort of works in the shadows. So, let's go ahead and compare these two knives because I think that there are some important similarities and differences, especially when it comes to price. So let's go ahead and get that one completely out of the way. The price difference on these is substantial, and it's not what you would think probably by just looking at the two knives. The Mass Drop Keen with an S35VN blade, ceramic bearings, and a titanium handle comes in at $139.99 on Mass Drop with multiple different handle and color variants available. The Min Pin comes with two options that are limited only to the blade, and it, come, and it also features S35VN ceramic bearings and a titanium handle, but this one comes in at $225. So there's an almost $80 to $90 difference in the prices between these two knives. And uh, I wanted to discuss the similarities and the differences and see if that price point is justified between these two knives. So, as I mentioned before, these two knives both feature S35VN blades. For complete specs, head back to the individual videos that I did on either of these knives to get more specific details. But in effect, this uh, Keen has a full flat ground three and a half inch blade and the Min Pin has a three quarters flat ground clip point style uh, blade right here, also flat ground. And so this really depends on what you are looking for. Both of them feature blade stocks coming in in the 156 to 158 thousandths, really essentially the same thickness on the blade stock. Notice also the Ray Laconico badges are done in opposite orientations. I'm not really sure what that means. Uh, who did it right? Uh, I got to go look at some Laconico customs to see who's doing this the right way. Uh, but what you're going to see is that the Keen is probably a better overall slicing tool given its full flat grind uh, versus a three quarters flat grind. However, I prefer the look of the Min Pin. I love a clip point style blade and I think that this is very handsome. Uh, there's always that sort of, uh, as nothing fancy would call it, second kind of cool where uh, you can take a functional shape but also make it a beautiful thing. I think this is definitely the better cutting tool but if I were to purchase one of these two, I would prefer this blade shape simply because I like it more. Now, this features a regular uh, drop point style shape with a regular blade edge. This has a bit of a recurved edge. And so if you don't like sharpening recurves, that is a thing. Both knives feature a very nice sharpening choil. I'm happy to see that for both. It seems that Mr. Laconico uh, stays true to his design elements and engineering elements when he's making these collaborative efforts, so props to him for pushing for that, I'm sure. Now, let's take a step back here and look at the uh, pivots. Both of them are running on ceramic bearings, and I don't have much to complain about on either of them. What I'm going to say is that the action on the min pin is better. It opens faster and it closes quicker. Uh, it just is a bit smoother. The pivot on the Keen is not by any means slow or thick in, uh, or whatever. It's just uh, I feel like fr from the box the Min Pin had smoother action. Now I think that over time the Keen will probably catch up and with some tuning it'll be fine. It is not a bad action by any means. It's honestly a very good action on the Keen. The detent is much lighter on the Keen. Uh, the lock bar tension is a little bit lower on the Keen, uh, and the flipper tab itself is not quite as sharp. And this actually does result in a better overall comfort 
in terms of flipping the knife all day. Now, most of us knife guys sit around all day with their knives and just kind of do this in between using them. We're playing with them. I've noticed that the Keen is a bit easier to do that with. The detent is lighter. The flipper tab is a bit more rounded and it's easier to deploy. More than once, quite a few times actually, I have had trouble deploying the min pin uh, because if I come anywhere near the uh, the lock bar with my finger, it locks that blade in, and then my hand kind of gets rubbed over this rather sharp flipper, and it's uncomfortable. But if I once I learned how to flip it appropriately, it's totally fine. Now let's talk about the lockups here. There is a noticeable difference in the sense that the Keen has a steel lock bar insert. I feel very strongly that this is pretty much mandatory on all modern production knives. I've already noticed a small amount of stick on the min pin right here. It's not really stick, it's just sort of, uh, there's a moment where it releases. It's not, it doesn't in any way affect disengaging the knife. It's not like it's locking, but you hear the disengagement, whereas on the Keen, perfectly smooth, easy disengagement. And uh, I don't have to worry about that interface kind of uh, breaking down over time. I worry about the titanium on steel interface, honestly, over the course of time. I would have liked to see a steel lock bar insert on this knife. Moving back to the handles, um, here I think that the min pin is again uh, my preferred model. This is a heavy, heavy uh, orange peeled finish. Uh, and I think that it's absolutely stunning for everyday use. I think the Keen comes with also very nice user finishes. This one is done in purple. They also have a bronze and a plain titanium. Uh, I just really, really, really lo love the look of this heavy orange peel on here, uh, as well as the carbon fiber backspacer. This is where I think is the only place where you could really justify the price difference here. And even that's kind of difficult to judge because there's a, a, a half length uh, backspacer in titanium on the Keen. And then there is an end cut carbon fiber backspacer here on the uh, min pin. I'm not sure which material costs more, probably titanium costs more. So it's interesting to me to see that. However, the use of different materials means that they had to source more materials uh, in order to construct these things. Both of them feature a straight style, Laconico style clip done in titanium and both function rather similarly. So uh, overall, these knives are remarkably similar. To be perfectly honest with you, I don't see a $100 price difference in between these two knives. What I will say is that the Monterey Bay knives uh, version right here is going to be less available. They will not limit production, but it's a smaller company that will be producing smaller numbers. So perhaps the lower availability of the Monterey Bay knives can justify uh, elevated secondary prices, uh, but I would be surprised to see these types of designs Chinese made uh, to really hold their value when there's something like this out there. And it makes it very hard to compete. Ray Laconico has a few designs out there with a few companies, including Kaiser uh, and, and Mastrop and, and now Monterey Bay Knives that are at all these different price points between $140 and $500, depending on who's making them and how they're doing it. And so we're in this new era of production knives coming from China where we have to establish what is an appropriate price for a knife like this. Mastrop is really crushing it by developing these high-end knives at such low prices. In talking with uh, Sanford Owen over at Monterey Bay Knives, he really is just blown away by how little money they're making on each of these knives and they're just making it up for qu in quantity. But in order for his business to thrive, he's got to have that price. So what I think... Uh, this knife really represents is the beginning of a new company in Monterey Bay Knives where the owner, Sanford Owen, is intending to start to create some custom collaborations with other makers, much like what Mastrop is doing, but perhaps staying on the higher end of things rather than on the budget end of things. So really, that's what we should take away from this comparison. There is not a winner here. I think that the Keen is a hell of a deal for $140, and I think that the Min Pin is a fantastic version of a classic Laconico design for a much more affordable price. I really am not disappointed in the Min Pin or the Keen in any way, and I'm very happy that they both are here. I prefer the looks 
of the min pin and I'm satisfied at the price point that it came in. However, I would like to see something in the future, maybe a little bit more affordable. Anyways, guys, tell me what you think of these two knives down below. Go ahead and click like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Head over to Instagram and follow me as Dr. Frunky. Check out the Mass Drop folks and the Monterey Bay Knives folks. And as always, y'all, take care.